Money, go to circuit sports, make all your fucking money. We're all gonna get rich together. I get rich, everybody get rich. You fuck with me, you fucking gonna get rich. Hey, Rona, you always talk about a, a tank being too short. Does that mean that you will fight tank from the outside and make it a boxing match? Uh, I'm gonna go in there and beat the fuck out of tank. That's my only game plan. Is tank the biggest punch you've ever seen? Probably, most likely. But I don't know. I can't really say because I haven't been hit by tank. that you like Ryan Garcia, Tia Fimo Lopez, and Canelo Alvarez, and Tyson Fury. Why do you personally dislike Devin Haney and Tank Davis so much? Is that a fucking serious question? Fucking Devin Haney is the fucking boringest fighter in the world, but fuck Devin Haney. Like, bro, like, nah, I ain't gonna waste my time. He a fucking boring fighter. Do you, if you think he's a boring fighter, but do you think he'll win against Cam Man, what kind of marketing are y'all fucking doing for this fucking dumb motherfucker, man? Shit, I know every one of y'all motherfuckers on payroll. So stop fucking asking me questions about Devin Haney. Do you think he's gonna Oh, he's gonna get knocked the fuck out. One round. One round. Yeah. Do you think Tank has ever got his chin tested? Yeah, he's been knocked down the gym a bunch of times. Yeah. So. Like you, you actually seen him get knocked down. I, man, I, man. Get wobble, get knocked out, man, man. All sorts of shit, man. All right, man. It's all bad. I feel bad for him. How's the way right now, Ronnie? I'm not tripping. I'm not tripping it. Pretty easy. I know you don't like the bubble. And the part of me, at least, appreciative that you know he's a big star. He should be fucking appreciative of me. I'm doing his fucking job for him. And the motherfucker needs money because he's broke as shit. He's like paycheck to paycheck. Please excuse the interruption. We're looking for Jason Roma. Your pizzas are here. Jason Roma. I'm going to knock him out a second time. i knock him out a fucking second time. I have... I have... If I got to fight him again, i knock him out a second time. I don't give a fuck. You say you were built to this situation. What's up, awesome, man? Good, good. All right. You say you're built for this. What you for this moment? Oh no, it is natural. It's natural. Well, I mean, he's full of confidence and he has every reason to be. He has every reason to be. He's put himself in a wonderful position. He's had a terrific camp. And he's going to go out there on Saturday night and show you guys what he's been talking about for the last four years. And that's all in life you can ask for is an opportunity. He sees something that most people don't see. Because again, like I said, it's been four years in the making. Every step of the way, he has said to me, and he said this to Floyd, get me Tank Davis. Get me Tank Davis. 
that's the fight that I want. I'm gonna prove to not only you guys, I'm gonna prove to the whole world that I'm better than him. So Saturday night, we have a huge, huge pay-per-view fight. Order now, don't wait. Because I, I guarantee you, this is gonna be one for the ages. Trust me. And you're making history, this is your first pay-per-view card at Boxing Hall, at Barclays Center. What, how does it feel to be the first one to put that together at Barclays Center in New York? But it always feels good, it, you know, anytime you talk about big events and big fights, Mayweather promotion, they go hand in hand, you know. We've been doing this for, you guys forever, it, you know, we, we hold all the records for the biggest pay-per-view fights, the biggest live gates. So Is again, black or just no? another day at the office, we're excited to be here in New York, um, again, in front of a packed, sold out venue. Saturday night, and again, for all the fans around the world who will be tuning in live on pay-per-view, again, this is going to be a must-see event, again, against for two terrific fighters, and, I, and again, like I said, this fight will definitely get in the knockout. I guarantee you that. Two more questions, guys. Hey, Roly, real quick, on a different note, what's your thoughts on b saying he's willing to move down to 168 to fight Canelo for the Undisputed, and Canelo chose to fight Triple G? Canelo doesn't want to fight Triple so... I mean, that's that. I mean, Canelo's still a tremendous fighter. Um, and, but, he got his ass beat by Babu. And Babu's a real champ. And, and, but, you know, that fight just shows. I thought Canelo was going to win. I thought everybody in this fucking room, but I bet everyone in this fucking room thought Canelo was going to win. And, 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 and look at this. Fucking upset, fucking the biggest upset this year so far. Look at this, I'm up, I'm about to fucking stop a fucking legacy right now. Just start mine. Hey, man, I just wanted to get your thoughts real quick. Um, even though Tank has slumped to 144 Mario Orioles, um, you only really believe that he's going to be the biggest puncher and strongest guy he's ever before. Do you kind of feel that way? No, that's a fact. I can feel that way, that's a fact. Roly, Roly is the biggest lightweight in the world. That's a fact. He's the strongest lightweight in the world. That's another fact. And Saturday night, like I said, he's talked that talk, and he says he's gonna go out there and do exactly what he said he's been, been gonna do for the last four years. So tune in. I'm telling you, it's gonna be, it's gonna be number five work. Thank you guys. My name is Chris and I'm all the way here from Anchorage, Alaska at South Carolinas and I'm here for my second treatment of SMP. Well, I was sitting at home one day and uh, going over my Facebook page and they have different, you know, like advertisements popping up and I saw one for SMP and I saw some pictures of some guys, you know, a before and after and I was looking at that and, they, you know, it caught my attention so I Googled it. SMP, nothing showed up in my area. So, uh, you know, I did a little more research and all of a sudden, Scout Carolinas popped up in the web browser. So I started uh, watching his videos and uh, seeing all the reaction from all the other people. We talked on the phone, we made appointments and everything. I sent him pictures and uh, uh, he looked at them and I was like, can you fix this? And, uh, you know, he pretty much said, no problem. My first session, uh, he made me feel extremely comfortable. Uh, it was almost like I was talking to family. He started and uh, during the whole, whole treatment, we talked and, you know, about our families and our life and, you know, and things that he does and things that I do. And before I know it, the first session was over. When you see someone doing something that they love, uh, as much as I see Enoch Glover love what he does, uh, it shows in his work. I wouldn't point anyone in any other direction but here to North Carolina, Scout Carolinas, to get this done.
All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, then this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Dekey Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODekey.com, like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram.